Two's complement is a mathematical operation on binary numbers, best known for its role in computing as a method of signed number representation. For this reason, it is the most important example of a radix complement. The two's complement of an n-bit number is defined as its complement with respect to 2n. For instance, for the 3-bit number 010, the 2's complement is 110, because 010 plus 110 equals 1000. 2's complement is the most common method of representing signed integers on computers. In this scheme, if the binary number 0102 encodes the signed integer 210, then its 2's complement, 1102, encodes the inverse, minus 210. In other words, to reverse the sign of any integer in this scheme, you can take the 2's complement of its binary representation. The tables at right illustrate this property. Compared to other systems for representing signed numbers e.g., 1's complement, 2's complement has the advantage that the fundamental arithmetic operations of addition, subtraction, and multiplication are identical to those for unsigned binary numbers as long as the inputs are represented in the same number of bits, and any overflow beyond those bits is discarded from the result. This property makes the system simpler to implement, especially for higher precision arithmetic. Unlike 1's complement systems, 2's complement has no representation for negative zero, and thus does not suffer from its associated difficulties. Conveniently, another way of finding the 2's complement of a number is to take its 1's complement and add 1. The sum of a number and its 1's complement is all 1 bits, or 2n1, and by definition, the sum of a number and its 2's complement is 2n. Topic: <laughs> History The method of complements had long been used to perform subtraction in decimal adding machines and mechanical calculators. John von Neumann suggested use of 2's complement binary representation in his 1945 first draft of a report on the EDVAC proposal for an electronic stored program digital computer. The 1949 EDSAC, which was inspired by the first draft, used 2's complement representation of binary numbers. Many early computers, including the CDC 6600, the LINK, the PDP-1, and the UNIVAC 1107, use 1's complement notation, the descendants of the UNIVAC 1107, the UNIVAC 1100 and 2200 series, continue to do so. The IBM 707000 series scientific machines use sign magnitude notation except for the index registers which are twos complement. Early commercial twos complement computers include the Digital Equipment Corporation PDP5 and the 1963 PDP6. The System 360, introduced in 1964 by IBM, then the dominant player in the computer industry, made 2's complement the most widely used binary representation in the computer industry. The first mini computer, the PDP 8, introduced in 1965, uses 2's complement arithmetic as do the 1969 Data General Nova, the 1970 PDP 11, and almost all subsequent mini computers and microcomputers. <laughs> Potential ambiguities of terminology The term 2's complement can mean either a number format or a mathematical operator. For example, 0111 represents decimal 7 in 2's complement notation, but the 2's complement of 7 in a 4-bit register is actually the 1001 bit string, the same as represents 9 equals 24 minus 7 in unsigned arithmetics which is the 2's complement representation of minus 7 the statement 
convert X to 2's complement may be ambiguous, since it could describe either the process of representing x in 2's complement notation without changing its value, or the calculation of the 2's complement, which is the arithmetic negative of x if 2's complement representation is used. Converting from 2's complement representation equals a 2's complement number system encodes positive and negative numbers in a binary number representation the weight of each bit is a power of 2 except for the most significant bit whose weight is the negative of the corresponding power of 2 the value w of an n bit integer a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a 0 display style or underscore n1 or underscore n2 dots or underscore 0 is given by the following formula w equals minus a n minus 1 2 n minus 1 plus i equals 0 n minus 2 a i 2 i Display style W equals or underscore N one two carrot N one plus sum underscore I equals zero carrot N two or underscore I two carrot I The most significant bit determines the sign of the number and is sometimes called the sign bit. Unlike in sign and magnitude representation, the sign bit also has the weight minus two N minus one shown above. Using n bits, all integers from minus 2n minus 1 to 2n minus 1 minus 1 can be represented. The following Python code shows a simple function which will convert an unsigned input integer to a 2's complement signed integer using the above logic with bitwise operators. Topic. Converting to 2's complement representation In 2's complement notation, a non negative number is represented by its ordinary binary representation, in this case, the most significant bit is 0. Though, the range of numbers represented is not the same as with unsigned binary numbers. For example, an 8-bit unsigned number can represent the values 0 to 255 .11 However a 2's complement 8-bit number can only represent positive integers from 0 to 127 because the rest of the bit combinations with the most significant bit as 1 represent the negative integers minus 1 to minus 128. The 2's complement operation is the additive inverse operation, so negative numbers are represented by the 2's complement of the absolute value. From the 1's complement To get the 2's complement of a binary number, the bits are inverted, or flipped. By using the bitwise not operation, the value of 1 is then added to the resulting value, ignoring the overflow which occurs when taking the 2's complement of 0. For example, using 1 byte equals 8 bits, the decimal number 5 is represented by 0000001012 the most significant bit is 0, so the pattern represents a non-negative value. To convert to minus 5 in 2's complement notation, first, the bits are inverted, that is, 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. 
1111-1102 at this point, the representation is the one's complement of the decimal value minus 5. To obtain the two's complement, one is added to the result, giving 1111-1012 The result is a signed binary number representing the decimal value minus 5 in two's complement form. The most significant bit is 1, so the value represented is negative. The two's complement of a negative number is the corresponding positive value. For example, inverting the bits of minus 5 above gives 0000-01002 and adding 1 gives the final value 0000-01012 The 2's complement of 0 is 0, inverting gives all 1's, and adding 1 changes the 1's back to 0's since the overflow is ignored. Furthermore, the 2's complement of the most negative number representable e.g. a 1 as the most significant bit and all other bits 0 is itself. Hence, there appears to be an extra negative number. Topic: <inaudible> Subtraction from 2n. The sum of a number and its one's complement is an n-bit word with all one bit, which is reading as an unsigned binary number 2n-1. Then adding a number to its 2's complement results in the n lowest bits set to 0 and the carry bit 1, where the latter has the weight reading it as an unsigned binary number of 2n. Hence, in the unsigned binary arithmetic the value of 2's complement negative number x asterisk of a positive x satisfies the equality x asterisk equals 2n minus x. For example, to find the 4-bit representation of minus 5 subscripts denote the base of the representation x topic 510 therefore x 01012 hence with n equals 4 x asterisk Topic two N minus X twenty four minus five hundred and ten. Topic sixteen ten to five hundred and ten. One hundred thousand and two minus O one O one two equals ten thousand one hundred and twelve. The calculation can be done entirely in base ten, converting to base two at the end. X asterisk. Topic two N minus X twenty four minus five hundred and ten. Topic eleven ten ten thousand one hundred and twelve. Topic Working from LSB towards MSB. A shortcut to manually convert a binary number into its 2's complement is to start at the least significant bit LSB, and copy all the zeros, working from LSB toward the most significant bit MSB until the first one is reached, then copy that one, and flip all the remaining bits leave the MSB as a 1 if the initial number was in sign and magnitude representation. This shortcut allows a person to convert a number to its 2's complement without first forming its 1's complement. For example, the 2's complement of 0011-1100 is 1100-0100, where the underlined digits were unchanged by the copying operation while the rest of the digits were flipped. In computer circuitry, this method is no faster than the complement and add one method. Both methods require working sequentially from right to left, propagating logic changes. 
The method of complementing and adding one can be sped up by a standard carry look-ahead adder circuit, the LSB towards MSB method can be sped up by a similar logic transformation. <laughs> Sign extension When turning a 2's complement number with a certain number of bits into one with more bits e.g., when copying from a 1-byte variable to a 2-byte variable, the most significant bit must be repeated in all the extra bits. Some processes do this in a single instruction, on other processes, a conditional must be used followed by code to set the relevant bits or bytes. Similarly, when a 2's complement number is shifted to the right, the most significant bit, which contains magnitude and the sign information, must be maintained. However, when shifted to the left, a zero is shifted in. These rules preserve the common semantics that left shifts multiply the number by 2 and right shifts divide the number by 2. Both shifting and doubling the precision are important for some multiplication algorithms. Note that unlike addition and subtraction, width extension and right shifting are done differently for signed and unsigned numbers. <laughs> Most negative number With only one exception, starting with any number in 2's complement representation, if all the bits are flipped and one added, the 2's complement representation of the negative of that number is obtained. Positive 12 becomes negative 12, positive 5 becomes negative 5, 0 becomes 0, plus overflow, etc. The 2's complement of the minimum number in the range will not have the desired effect of negating the number. For example, the 2's complement of -128 in an 8-bit system results in the same binary number. This is because a positive value of 128 cannot be represented with an 8-bit signed binary numeral. This phenomenon is fundamentally about the mathematics of binary numbers, not the details of the representation as 2's complement. Mathematically, this is complementary to the fact that the negative of zero is again zero. For a given number of bits k there is an even number of binary numbers 2k, taking negatives is a group action of the group of order 2 on binary numbers, and since the orbit of zero has order 1, at least one other number must have an orbit of order 1 for the orders of the orbits to add up to the order of the set. Thus some other number must be invariant under taking negatives formally, by the orbit stabilizer theorem. Geometrically, one can view the k-bit binary numbers as the cyclic group z 2 k which can be visualized as a circle or properly a regular 2k gone, and taking negatives is a reflection, which fixes the elements of order dividing 2 to 0 and the opposite point, or visually the zenith and nadir. Note that this negative being the same number is detected as an overflow condition since there was a carry into but not out of the most significant bit. This can lead to unexpected bugs in that an unchecked implementation of absolute value could return a negative number in the case of the minimum negative. The ABS family of integer functions in C typically has this behavior. This is also true for Java. In this case it is for the developer to decide if there will be a check for the minimum negative value before the call of the function. The most negative number in 2's complement is sometimes called the weird number because it is the only exception. Although the number is an exception, it is a valid number in regular 2's complement systems. All arithmetic operations work with it both as an operand and unless there was an overflow, a result. Topic: Why it works. 
Given a set of all possible n bit values, we can assign the lower by the binary value half to be the integers from 0 to 2n minus 1 minus 1 inclusive and the upper half to be minus 2n minus 1 to minus 1 inclusive. The upper half again by the binary value can be used to represent negative integers from -2n -1 to -1 because under addition modulo 2n they behave the same way as those negative integers. That is to say that because i plus j mod 2n equals i plus j plus 2n mod 2n any value in the set j plus k 2n, k is an integer can be used in place of j, for example, with 8 bits, the unsigned bytes are 0 to 255. Subtracting 256 from the top half 128 to 255 yields the signed bytes minus 128 to minus 1. The relationship to 2's complement is realized by noting that 256 equals 255 plus 1, and 255 minus x is the 1's complement of x equals topic example equals minus 95 modulo 256 is equivalent to 161 since minus 95 plus 256 topic Minus ninety five plus two hundred and fifty five plus one two hundred and fifty five minus ninety five plus one Topic one hundred and sixty plus one One six one 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 two five five minus O one O one 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 minus ninety five Topic One O one O O O O O One's complement one hundred and sixty plus one plus one Topic One O One O O O O One Two's complement one hundred and sixty one. Fundamentally, the system represents negative integers by counting backward and wrapping around. The boundary between positive and negative numbers is arbitrary, but by convention, all negative numbers have a leftmost bit, most significant bit of one. Therefore, the most positive 4-bit number is 0111 and the most negative is 1000 Because of the use of the leftmost bit as the sign bit, the absolute value of the most negative number, minus 8. Topic 8 is too large to represent. For example, an 8-bit number can only represent every integer from minus 128 to 127 28 minus 1 128 inclusive. Negating a 2's complement number is simple, invert all the bits and add 1 to the result. For example, negating 1111, we get 0000 plus 1 equals 1. Therefore, 1111 must represent minus 1. The system is useful in simplifying the implementation of arithmetic on computer hardware. Adding 0011 to 1111 minus 1 at first seems to give the incorrect answer of 10010. However, the hardware can simply ignore the leftmost bit to give the correct answer of 00102. Overflow checks still must exist to catch operations such as summing 0100 and 0100. The system therefore allows addition of negative operands without a subtraction circuit and a circuit that detects the sign of a number. 
Moreover, that addition circuit can also perform subtraction by taking the 2's complement of a number see below, which only requires an additional cycle or its own adder circuit. To perform this, the circuit merely pretends an extra left most bit of 1 exists. Topic: <laughs> Arithmetic operations. Topic: <laughs> Addition. Adding 2's complement numbers requires no special processing even if the operands have opposite signs, the sign of the result is determined automatically. For example, adding 15 and minus 5 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 carry 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 15 plus 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 minus 5 O O O O one O one O ten. This process depends upon restricting to eight bits of precision. A carry to the non-existent ninth most significant bit is ignored, resulting in the arithmetically correct result of ten ten. The last two bits of the carry row, reading right to left, contain vital information: whether the calculation resulted in an arithmetic overflow, a number too large for the binary system to represent, in this case greater than eight bits. An overflow condition exists when these last two bits are different from one another. As mentioned above, the sign of the number is encoded in the MSB of the result. In other terms, if the left two carry bits, the ones on the far left of the top row in these examples are both ones or both zeros, the result is valid. If the left two carry bits are 10 or 01, a sign overflow has occurred. Conveniently, an XOR operation on these two bits can quickly determine if an overflow condition exists. As an example, consider the signed 4 bit addition of 7 and 3 0111 carry 0111 7 plus 0011 3 1010 minus 6 invalid. In this case, the far left 2 MSB carry bits are 01, which means there was a 2's complement addition overflow. That is, 10102 equals 1010 is outside the permitted range of minus 8 to 7. The result would be correct if treated as unsigned integer. In general, any two n bit numbers may be added without overflow, by first sign extending both of them to n plus 1 bit, and then adding as above. The n plus 1 bit result is large enough to represent any possible sum. N equals 5 2's complement can represent values in the range -16 to 15 so overflow will never occur it is then possible if desired to truncate the result back to n bits while preserving the value if and only if the discarded bit is a proper sign extension of the retained result bits this provides another method of detecting overflow which is equivalent to the method of comparing the carry bits but which may be easier to implement in some situations, because it does not require access to the internals of the addition. Subtraction Computers usually use the method of complements to implement subtraction. Using complements for subtraction is closely related to using complements for representing negative numbers, since the combination allows all signs of operands and results. Direct subtraction works with two's complement numbers as well. Like addition, the advantage of using two's complement is the elimination of examining the signs of the operands to determine whether addition or subtraction is needed. For example, subtracting minus 5 from 15 is really adding 5 to 15, but this is hidden by the 2's complement representation. 11110000 borrow 0000 1111 15 
minus one 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 oh one one minus five O one O one hundred twenty Overflow is detected the same way as for addition by examining the two leftmost most significant bits of the borrows overflow has occurred if they are different Another example is a subtraction operation where the result is negative 15 minus 35 equals minus 20 1110000 borrow 0000111115 Minus O one O one one thirty five one 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 O one one hundred minus twenty. As for addition, overflow in subtraction may be avoided or detected after the operation by first sign extending both inputs by an extra bit. Topic Multiplication The product of two n bit numbers requires two n bits to contain all possible values. If the precision of the two operands using two's complement is doubled before the multiplication, direct multiplication, discarding any excess bits beyond that precision, will provide the correct result. For example, take six times minus five equals minus thirty. First, the precision is extended from four bits to eight. Then the numbers are multiplied, discarding the bits beyond the eighth bit, as shown by x. O O O O O one one O six. Asterisk eleven million one hundred and eleven thousand and eleven minus five. One hundred and ten. Eleven hundred. O O O O O. One hundred and ten thousand. One million one hundred thousand. Eleven million x ten million plus x x o o o o o o o o x x eleven million one hundred thousand and ten. This is very inefficient. By doubling the precision ahead of time, all additions must be double precision, and at least twice as many partial products are needed than for the more efficient algorithms actually implemented in computers. Some multiplication algorithms are designed for two's complement, notably Booth's multiplication algorithm. Methods for multiplying sign magnitude numbers don't work with two's complement numbers without adaptation. There isn't usually a problem when the multiplicand, the one being repeatedly added to form the product, is negative. The issue is setting the initial bits of the product correctly when the multiplier is negative. Two methods for adapting algorithms to handle two's complement numbers are common. First check to see if the multiplier is negative. If so, negate i.e., take the two's complement of both operands before multiplying. The multiplier will then be positive so the algorithm will work. Because both operands are negated, the result will still have the correct sign. Subtract the partial product resulting from the MSB pseudo sign bit instead of adding it like the other partial products. This method requires the multiplicand sign bit to be extended by one position, being preserved during the shift right actions. As an example of the second method, take the common add and shift algorithm for multiplication. Instead of shifting partial products to the left as is done with pencil and paper, the accumulated product is shifted right, into a second register that will eventually hold the least significant half of the product. Since the least significant bits are not changed once they are calculated, the additions can be single precision, accumulating in the register that will eventually hold the most significant half of the product. In the following example, again multiplying 6 by minus 5, the two registers and the extended sign bit are separated by quote pipe quote 6 multiplicand with extended sign bit times 1011 minus 5 multiplier equals 0 first partial product rightmost bit is 1 0, shift right, preserving extended sign bit 
0 1001 add second partial product next bit is 1 0 0100 1000 shift right preserving extended sign bit 0 0100 1000 add third partial product 0 so no change 0 0100 shift right preserving extended sign bit 1 1100 0100 subtract last partial product since it's from sign bit 1 1110 0010 shift right preserving extended sign bit 1110 0010 discard extended sign bit giving the final answer minus 30 topic comparison ordering Comparison is often implemented with a dummy subtraction, where the flags in the computer's status register are checked, but the main result is ignored. The zero flag indicates if two values compared equal. If the exclusive or of the sign and overflow flags is 1, the subtraction result was less than zero, otherwise the result was zero or greater. These checks are often implemented in computers in conditional branch instructions. Unsigned binary numbers can be ordered by a simple lexicographic ordering, where the bit value 0 is defined as less than the bit value 1. For 2's complement values, the meaning of the most significant bit is reversed i.e. 1 is less than 0. The following algorithm for an n bit 2's complement architecture sets the result register R to -1 if a b and to 0 if a and b are equal. Topic: 2's complement and 2 adic numbers. In a classic HAKMEM published by the MIT AI Lab in 1972, Bill Gosper noted that whether or not a machine's internal representation was 2's complement could be determined by summing the successive powers of 2. In a flight of fancy, he noted that the result of doing this algebraically indicated that algebra is run on a machine, the universe, which is 2's complement. Gosper's end conclusion is not necessarily meant to be taken seriously, and it is akin to a mathematical joke. The critical step is 110 equals 0.111 minus 1 inch, i.e. 2x equals x minus 1, and thus x. Topic. Point one 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 minus one. This presupposes a method by which an infinite string of ones is considered a number, which requires an extension of the finite place value concepts in elementary arithmetic. It is meaningful either as part of a two's complement notation for all integers, as a typical two-adic number, or even as one of the generalized sums defined for the divergent series of real numbers 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus. Digital arithmetic circuits, idealized to operate with infinite extending to positive powers of two bit strings, produce two-adic addition and multiplication compatible with two's complement representation. Continuity of binary arithmetical and bitwise operations in two-adic metric also has some use in cryptography. Fractions conversion To convert a fraction, for instance, 0.0101 you must convert starting from right to left the ones to decimal as in a normal conversion. In this example 0101 is equal to 5 in decimal. Each digit after the floating point represents a fraction where the denominator is a multiplier of 2. So, the first is one half, the second is one quarter and so on. Having already calculated the decimal value as mentioned above, you use only the denominator of the LSB LSB equals starting from right. 
As a result, we have five sixteenths. For instance, having the floating value of 0 0.0110 for this method to work, one should not consider the last zero from the right. Hence, instead of calculating the decimal value for 0 0.0110, we calculate the value 0 0.011, which is 3 in decimal, by leaving the zero. In the end, the result would have been 6, together with the denominator 2 to the power of 4. Equals 16 reduces to 3 eighths. So the denominator is 8. So, the final result is 3 eighths. Equals See also Equals Division algorithm, including restoring and non-restoring division in two's complement representations Offset binary Piadic number Method of complements, generalization to other number bases, used on mechanical calculators <laughs>